Hi there guys, first thing we look at today is the GSR, how to make sure your mask is fitted properly, how to check the seal properly, your drink system is working correctly, and your comms are working correctly. The seal of your NBC suit is working correctly. It's no good having tons of water and food if your personal protection isn't working. So if we got stripped out now, and we're going to go through the different things. First thing you need to look at is your seal working. If your mask isn't sealed properly, when you block your filters, you won't be able to breathe. So if, if I suck it now, the mask, mask sucks in. So you know it's fitted correctly and the seal is working. Your charcoal filters. On the GSR, these last 24 hours, you don't need to use both at the same time. You can just quite simply unlock, twist off, see on out. It works just as well with the one. For, for full filtration, you need to put both on. Lock in. Locked in, working tidy. Next, your drinks. Make sure your drinks hold. It's fitted correctly. So you can fit your drinks bottle as you can have a drink. Let your pipe is within reach of your lips in your mouth. And you refit your drinks afterwards to stop any purification, any particles coming through the pipe back into your mask. The seal around here is a, is a, a charcoal liner on the inside. Don't think because you've got to be an NBC protection or has come protection, you will be absolutely protected from gamma radiation. It is vital for the first five days or so you stay inside your property to, to reduce the amount of gamma radiation which will pass through your windows, etc., into your home. So make sure you put screens up against your windows. Right, let's just strip down now. Now you will see now, the inside of my arms will be black, that's from the charcoal lining. Charcoal lining from the suit, I'll show you now. This is all charcoal. My arms now, they black. That's normal. If it's on, in your situation, leave it on. Any charcoal line in your skin gives you protection. Okay, looking at your GSR. On the inside of the mouthpiece, I'll try, we'll try and get this on camera. I can't guarantee it. There's your comms. Um, in the chin there, can't see it. There's two filters in the chin. That collects any saliva, snot. Always make sure that's clean. Uh, into the mouthpiece here, we talk. On the right hand side, there, that's where your drinks pipe comes through. Let me just check. I have a kit to show you. Not to hand, bad breath preparation by me again. Just a quick pause. Okay. In your kit will come. Upgraded mouthpieces. Here we have the, cur the curly pipe for you. This fits inside your GSR to allow you to take drinks if you're outside and you must and you need to remove your mask and you don't need to remove your mask. Eating should be done inside a confined building. What can you do about radiation proof in your building? Gamma rays will pass through more stone and brick. Um, if you live in, in a old house like I am, um, this was built in 18, 1886. Um, the walls are one meter thick stone. Not much radiation you're going to get through those, but the weak spots are windows, roof. You need a three layer protection system on your windows and around your doors. First of all, the obvious gaffer tape around your um, window seals, etc. 
um, because any radiation will leak in through, if you're breathing, obviously your house is not very efficient. Um, so you need a gaffer tape around your windows and doors. In the event that we do get a, the three minute warning, it should we be so lucky. Next, you need to put a layer of plywood over your windows. That will stop a minimal amount of radiation, so uh, a three mil, four mil thick of plywood over, up first. Or that, you need to put a layer of steel, um, uh, some gypsum, plasterboard, and lastly, a layer of either um, carbon fibre or um, charcoal, because the carbon greatly reduces the gamma radiation coming in. So you've got all your food and drink. What you need to get in place as well is make some boards that will go up over the windows then be bzz, 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 just screwed into place quickly with a power drill. Um, fly. So look at your um, house radiation protection. If you've got a basement, it's even better. Most of you Yanks will have, will have a basement. Get down in the basement. And all your drinks and everything down there. If you don't have a basement, don't go in your, your attic. Although there's no windows in most houses, do not have an attic. That is where most of the radiation will settle, is on the roof. So you want to be in as downstairs as possible, into the central of the house as possible, away from the windows and doors. If you can't get into a room away from windows and doors, make sure they are sealed with gaffer tape around the, the edges. Um, layer of plywood, layer of um, steel or aluminium sheet, then a layer of um, gypsum, and then a layer of carbon fibre or um, charcoal. Because the carbon, um, graphite carbon, will massively reduce the gamma radiation coming into your house. Your PPE. Um, make sure wherever you go, you take it with you. Um, I got um, standard uh, British issue, uh, NBC from Iraq War. Um, latest state of the art GSR mask. Um, my opinion, best one on the market. Prices have shot up late lately because people are thinking that um, shit's gonna hit the fan and it probably will. When your mask is not being used, always store it on its correct mounting frame. Show you this. So, come here. The most the, the frame sits inside. This keeping your mask in its correctly formed position. Then store it in your haversack, backpack, etc. It keeps your lenses and everything else nicely protected. It pop locks into place and is well sorted away. You can just take it with you, check in the boot of your car, um, take it with your work. Um, those things look in a moment, you're gonna need it. Spare filters, okay, let's have a look. On eBay and Amazon at the moment, people are selling. The GSR filters, disconnect, show you. They sell the GSR filters without a pack. They're useless. They've been exposed to the element. The filters inside have been collecting moisture and contamination. Um, when it comes to, to stock bin, any radioactive filters, they're already saturated. I've taken them out to show for demonstration purposes. I got about 20 sets. If one set lasts 24 hours, I got roughly enough to last me, um, what, 20 days. Um, you can use one at a time. Perhaps protection, if you are using one at a time, mastic, masking tape around the outside, seal the extra vent. So you just use in one filter and it'll double the service time of your mask. If you're not outside um, and you're in a well sealed environment, you do not need to use it. Save your filters, save your canisters. The prices are gonna go through the roof. Um, the next thing you need to think about then, it's, um, right, the next one you need up is 
I, um, potassium iodide. Not iodine, potassium iodide. Right, so with potassium iodide, not potassium iodine, you need this. It's of thyroid cancer. It's the one of the primary causes of radiation fallout. You will need 150 grams per day of um, iodine, uh, sorry, um, I, do, 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 potassium iodide. Um, at the moment, the United States government has been buying up just about every stock around the world. There are official NBC tablets for biosickness um, and radiation poisoning. Um, in packs, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, a Canadian prepper has shown them. They've shot up in price to $140 uh, for a pack of 14, I believe. So that's one a day, $140. Okay, next up, we're going to look at hand protection, multiple layers. You need a base layer of a cotton or wool glove, a natural fiber. You don't want latex or rubber. In the event of heat, it will melt to your hands and you will have extreme burns. So use a cotton or rubber, a cotton or wool base layer glove. Over the top of that then, use something like a mechanics glove, um, which you would use, see as a traditional motor mechanic would use, or an engineer, or um, Royal Navy, uh, American Navy service crew would use on the deck of a, an aircraft carrier. Then finally over the top then, your NBC gloves, which is a thick, heavy duty rubber gauntlet. They again sit on the ground, but anything like your household kitchen rubber gloves, um, multiple layers, two layers or so, is as good as one thick, heavy duty layer of rubber. So if you can't get all of um, official NBC gloves, which are just heavy duty rubber, they're not specially treated in any way, um, layer up. So you want three, Minimum three layers on your hands, in a cotton or wool layer, uh, a, a working glove, give, which gives you um, protection for grip, and then your rubber glove over the top, preferably elbow length. Next, we're gonna look at your feet. Same again, multiple layers of socks, a, a cotton or nylon, a cotton, not nylon, basically a sock or wool, a traditional sock over the top, um, then your, your boots, and then all the top then, your NBC boots or a thick rubber over boot to go again. All these you will need multiple of. You need the kit you're using, a kit to go to, and a kit ready in the wash. So you need three. Of each layer, you need three of everything. One in a wash, one wearing, and one to go. Because your suits will build up um, radioactive pollution on the outside um, and they need to be changed. You can't just keep wearing them and wearing them and wearing them. It will soak through, it will get in your system regardless of um, any um, iodine tablets you're taking or iodide. Don't just take iodine, you want iodide.